Thank you very, very much. My fellow Democrats, and hello, South Carolina. As a father of three daughters and grandfather of two adorable granddaughters, I'm proud to stand before you as we prepare to offer the American people an opportunity to smash through the ultimate glass ceiling in our nation by nominating for President of the United States a person who's more qualified by education and training, more experience and temperament than anyone who has ever offered for the job. And when it comes to current occupants, it ain't even close. The changes we seek for our great country will not come easy. To achieve a stronger and better America, we need a leader who is willing and able to fight for the dreams of all Americans. If there's one thing I know about Hillary Clinton, it is this. She is a fighter. And she fights with her head and her heart. In my home state of South Carolina, we often say you can best tell what a person will do by looking at what he or she has done. When she graduated from law school, Hillary Clinton came to South Carolina to help reform our juvenile justice system and travel across the region to make the 1965 Voting Rights Act real in the lives of all Americans. In Arkansas, she sought to reform education. As First Lady, she fought for universal health care and succeeded in helping secure the children's health insurance program that provides health care for millions of children and laid the groundwork for the Affordable Care Act. As a senator, and Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton always worked to advance our nation's pursuit of a more perfect union. Hillary Clinton knows that we must take effective action on the issue of income inequality. She has embraced the Congressional Black Caucus's 102030 plan to target federal resources into areas of persistent poverty. Hillary Clinton's first speech in this campaign was on criminal justice reform. She will work to get rid of mandatory minimums and mass incarcerations and private for profit prisons. Hillary Clinton does not care about getting outside of her comfort zone. She knows that we are a stronger nation when we work together. She embodies our nation's motto, E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. John F. Kennedy challenged us to reach for the moon, and we did. Lyndon Baines Johnson courageously tackled poverty and inequality in America and his achievements continue to lift our communities and sustain our citizens. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. pointed us to the mountaintop. And although we are not there yet, we are still climbing. And with President Hillary Clinton, America will rise even further. My standing before you tonight is a testament to the strength of our party, the goodness of our people, and the greatness of our nation. Our nation is strong, but we can be stronger. Americans are good, but we can be better. America is great, but it can be 
greater. My fellow Democrats, America's brightest days are yet to come. We have bigger and better things to achieve. But achieving bigger and better things require working together and working harder. Let's emerge from Philadelphia working together to make our nation stronger, Americans better, and America greater by electing Hillary Clinton the next president of these United States. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless these United States of America. Thank you.